The integration between StyleCAD and vStitcher has reached another level. With the improvements we have made, users are now able to work in either 2D or 3D environments and not lose any work. Here we have pattern pieces for a bodysuit and leggings. Let us first focus on the simulation of the bodysuit. We place these two pieces into the front and back torso clusters respectively and arrange them around the avatar. Now we stitch the patterns together and simulate the garment. The bottom of the bodysuit is getting bunched up and in such a situation, stiffening the edges help. We also stiffen up the armhole sections. Now let's make some modifications to the patterns. We change the neckline to a v-neck and make some adjustments to the shoulders and armhole curves. Next, we want to create a cutout on the side as a design element. Now let's sync all this information to StyleCAD. Notice how all the stitching, arranging, and pattern modifications are duplicated in StyleCAD. Using the internal lines drawn in vStitcher, we extract the side sections with the cut tool. Users can also set internal line and edge properties from StyleCAD. Here we assign force multiplier to the side cutout edges. Because we cut out pieces, we need to stitch these sections together. We disable the pant patterns so that only the bodysuit patterns are loaded to vStitcher. Now let's simulate the leggings. We assign a higher layer to the pant patterns in order for them to go over the bodysuit patterns. We arrange the pant pieces around the avatar and simulate. Let's shorten the pant pieces in StyleCAD. We disable the bodysuit patterns so we don't have to re-simulate it and load to vStitcher. Then we re-simulate just the pant pieces. Now let's assign material to the patterns. We assign leopard print to the bodysuit, change the color of the leggings to black, and give it a shiny look. Next we choose edge seams and assign them to the edges. Let's change the pose. We sync again to StyleCAD. Notice the layer assignment and pattern positions are remembered. Users can also assign the layer from here. The fabric and edge seam IDs are also maintained in the style data.
So if we were to reopen the style in VXGX files another day, and make some modifications, we do not have to repeat any previous work done in vStitcher. Notice how we were able to easily simulate the revised leggings with all the assigned materials intact. Please contact StyleCat if you have any questions about this video.